Right, we're off to Goodwood for the last three races of the day one of the Goodwood Festival. It's a Darren Howells Stayers Handicap, 0 to 70 handicap for over two miles, two and a half furlongs. One is Only Eyed, Alex Cherry. Two, Tamine Ennis, Stu Gray. Three, David Coverdale, Mark Needham. Four, Nonna Bomb, James Shea. Five, Divine Blessing, Satya. Six, Durable, Obi-Wan. And seven, Whip Heartbeat for James Shea. At the start, and away they go. Good break by Tamine Ennis, the grave for Stu Gray. And on the rail is Nonna Bomb for James Shea. In between horses, there's Divine Blessings. Only hard for Alex Cherry now moving forward to try take it up. That's the grey horse with the orange cap. Uh, in fifth place is David Coverdale. Just beyond that, out wide is Durable. And whip heartbeat for James Shea is uh, five wide in a seven horse race. So it's Divine Blessing who leads them in the soft ground, the good to soft ground you had uh, Goodwood on the yard moving past Divine Eyed now then David uh, Coverdale back in third with the beat in so that one on the inside Durable out wide with Whoop Heartbeat and Nonna Bomb for Jane Shea looks on from the rear of the field but he's only seven lengths off the leader which is now Divine Blessing so Divine Blessings and Wild Yard are dueling for the lead three lengths back to Stu Gray's Tamin Innes the red colours on that one's outside is David Coverdale for Martin Leadham the yellow colours behind that is Durable for Obi one. The two green coloured horses are Whip Heartbeat and uh, Nona Bomb. They're both for James Shea Stable. And eight lengths first to loss in this race. Yeah, and Goodwork, um, 0 to 70 handicap, I think. Uh, only our leads and for Alex Cherry from Divine Blessings in second uh, for Patrick Hogan. Then to mean in us back in third for Stu Gray. David Coverdale just behind that. Then uh, Whip Heartbeat for James Shea with uh, Obi Wan's Durable on the inside of that. Nona Bomb is a trailer for James Shea. So Alex Cherry. His own yard takes him along from Divine Blessings in second. It could be Satyam's horse actually. A third place is uh, Tamine Ennis for uh, Stu Gray. Then David Coverdale back behind that for Martin Leadham. On the outside, that is durable for Obi Wan. Then Whip Heartbeat for James Shea. Looking on from the rear of the field is Nonna Bomb. Is about eight lengths off this leader, which is now Only Yard who seems to have won that battle for the lead. Only Yard leads from in second, Divine Blessings. Then comes Tamine Ennis uh, in third, about a length back. Two lengths for the back to Durable is now past a few on the road is David Coverdale who seems to be dropping back. Will Park Peters and that one's outside and moving closer now is Nonna Bomb. Only uh, takes him along. Nine furlongs left to travel. So a long way to go in this. Uh, Divine Blessings back in second. Then the grey horse to Mean Ennis with those black colours for Stu Grey. Durable on the rail now. The yellow colours for Obi-Wan. Who part beat on that one's outside. Always been on that one's outside. And dropping back to the rear of the field now is David Coverdale. Nonna Bomb is moving past that one. So there's a compact field, only about eight lengths first to last. Only I takes him along the grey horse with the orange cap. On the rail is Divine Blessings. Then comes Tabine Ennis moving closer. Two lengths back to Durable by Obi Wan. Whip Heartbeat is on that outside for James Shea. The other James Shea horse, Nonna Bomb, is creeping closer and dropping to the rear of the field. David Coverdale for Martin Needham. He had a good position at one stage. So six furlongs left to go and Divine Blessing now strikes the front from Only Ard in second who seems to have cried enough. Moving closer is Durable for Obi-Wan. Also trying to get going is Nonna Bomb for James Shea. It's Divine Blessing who stretches clear now. Three lengths clear of Durable, uh, Only Ard and Durable. Then Nonna Bomb who's travelling really well in fourth place. David Coverdale seems to be moving forward. Tamina seems to be struggling now and Whip Heartbeat is going nowhere. It's Divine Blessing in the lead but here comes Nonna Bomb for James James Shea on that one's outside. It's Divine Blessings and Nona Bomb left to fight it out with three phones left to go. Running on David Coverdale for Martin Needham. Only Art seems to be going backwards. Durable's not gone forward with his challenge. It's Nona Bomb in front for James Shea from Divine Blessings on the inside. And Nona Bomb is now starting to get the upper hand for James Shea. Two phones left to travel. Nona Bomb getting the advantage up on the upper hand from Divine Blessings in second. Durable is trying to get closer, but it's Nona Bomb for James Shea. And Nona Bomb is has gone clear two, three lengths now from Divine Blessings in second and it's not there's only Nonna Bomb stretching clear to win this very comfortably. Nonna Bomb ahead of the handicap here. Going to win comfortably by some four or five lengths from Divine Blessings in second. Obi Wan's durable running on late for third. David Coverdale was never in at the back in fourth place. And I think only I've been got fifth for Alex Cherry. So James Shea picks up a winner. Nonna Bomb wins very easily. Some five lengths from Divine Blessings in second. 
Uh, what's Satyam's Divine Blessing in second? Durable Phobi won back in third. Uh, David Coverdale, Martin Eden was in fourth. Uh, only out back in fifth. And Tamin Innes finished in sixth place with Stu Gray. And Whip Heartbeat for James Shea finished in last.